Hi, I'm Jody. I'm at the Albany Pine Bush Preserve. Today I'll be talking to preserve staff to learn more about this globally rare habitat and how we can protect it. The Albany Pine Bush is the only remaining undeveloped portion of a pine barrens that once covered more than 25,000 acres. And it's one of the best remaining examples of an inland pine barrens left in the world. This extraordinary fire-dependent ecosystem provides habitat for numerous plants and animals and supports many of New York State's wildlife species of greatest conservation need, including the endangered Carner Blue Butterfly. But the Albany Pine Bush Preserve is not complete and it faces pressure from all sides of the urban areas that surround it. The public can help protect more land as well as support the restoration of this globally rare National Natural Landmark. In its best condition, the Albany pine bush is kind of this grassy shrubland underneath an open canopy of pitch pine and a few scattered oak trees. The land between Albany and Schenectady, New York, is home to an unlikely ecological gem. Rolling sand dunes blanketed in pine, oak, heaths, and prairie grass stretch for miles across an ancient lake bed. A relic of the last ice age, this landscape is known locally as the Albany Pine Bush. Scientifically, it's recognized as a northeastern interior pine barrens, or more simply, an inland pine barrens ecosystem. The Albany Pine Bush supports an amazing diversity of wildlife, in particular rare wildlife that can't live anyplace else. The pine bush is kind of an, an in-between habitat. It's a, it's a grassy shrubland or a shrubby grassland. It's not a forest and it's not a field. And there's a whole bunch of wildlife species that need that condition, that, that type of habitat. In particular, a number of rare insects like the endangered carnivore blue butterfly and the New York State threatened frosted elfin butterfly, but also a wide variety of birds, in particular the prairie warbler. Is, is a bird that really depends heavily on this habitat. The Albany pine bush is ecologically important because it is rare. It provides a special habitat for some of the rarest wildlife in the Northeast. The future of the inland pine barrens is in our hands. Habitat loss, fire suppression, and the spread of invasive species as well as more global issues like climate change, pose serious challenges to the health and survival of this ecosystem. Without the intervention of people to conserve the Albany pine bush, it would likely disappear. There are a number of things that, um, that are a challenge and a threat to natural areas. One is just the fact that we have a lot of people and they're developing areas, we're building roads, we're building houses, we're building shopping centers, and those types of things tend to destroy a certain amount of habitat, which is okay if it's in balance maybe with areas like the pine bush that are not uh, developed. So it's important to have places like this that people can enjoy, that wildlife can, can use. Here in the pine bush, uh, a lot of those plants are here because uh, fire has been taken out of the system. And without fire, it gives an opportunity for a more open pine barren setting to turn into a more forested type of, 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 of northeastern forest, which is not really rare like the pine bush is. So here, here really the big threat is invasive plants and we've been doing a lot to remove them, to manage them, uh, and try to get really native pine barrens plants back into the system. Uh, and then the, the other threat, of course, is the absence of fire. So if we don't have fire in this system, um, then it's going to revert back to a forest. And the commission is putting fire into the Pine Barrens. Um, we've been doing that for many years now and trying to keep that as the primary natural force that is uh, helping to maintain the Pine Barrens and, and keep it as the Pine Barrens long-term. Restoration is a process that is very active here in the Pine Bush. A lot of places we don't, that are natural, they don't really do much to them after they protect them and, and purchase them. But here in the Pine Bush, because a lot of the areas are very degraded, we have to restore those areas, and that takes all kinds of different methods. The preserve is a place for recreation, education, and relaxation. It's also a living laboratory 
where preserve staff perform innovative research independently and in collaboration with other scientists and institutions around the country. This builds knowledge of the pine bush that informs habitat restoration decisions and allows us to better appreciate and share the story of this national treasure. There's lots of opportunities here for people to just go out and enjoy the nature and just walk the trails. People also ride mountain bikes here. They also uh, spend time hiking in the wintertime. Cross-country skiing and snowshoeing are very popular activities uh, in addition to all the, all the different programs and things that are offered by the Discovery Center itself. The Albany Pine Bush Preserve Commission was created in 1988 by the New York State Legislature to protect and manage the inland pine barrens commonly known as the Albany Pine Bush and provide the public with educational and recreational opportunities. The Commission Board includes the leaders of the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation and Historic Preservation, City of Albany, Towns of Colony and Gilderland, Albany County, the Nature Conservancy, and four citizen representatives. Currently it's 3,300 acres. We have a detailed protection strategy with a goal of almost 5,400 acres. Um, so there's a little over 2,000 acres left out there to protect. By protecting land and restoring native plant communities, we connect small fragments of pine barrens to create a larger pine barrens landscape. Larger areas of protected habitat give wildlife more space to move and find resources. This improves the chances of long-term survival for pine barren species. The Commission has a management plan with a goal of protecting 5,380 acres. The way we add land to the preserve is, is primarily we, we have a, a, we've identified over 2,000 acres, like I mentioned, in this detailed protection strategy, detailed protection plan that we have. It's more or less a, a waiting game for people to put their property on, their, on the market because most of this land is not available at this point. And we can only buy land at fair market value. So sometimes it's hard to come to agreements when we do appraisals, but fair market value is what drives us. It seems to work pretty well and has so far for 3,300 acres. So the Friends of the Pine Bush community are a nonprofit group. You can donate to them specifically to that land protection campaign and that can help further more land that's protected and added to the preserve. As the gateway to the Pine Bush, the Discovery Center is a green certified interpretive center where visitors come to understand why the Pine Bush is rare and special. A visit to this unique destination is an exciting exploration where learning comes naturally through interactive exhibits, an outdoor discovery trail, and numerous programs on the ecology, natural history, cultural history, and management of the Pine Bush. We have the Discovery Center, which is a destination where people can come and learn about the Albany Pine Bush through our exhibits, through programs, and trails. In addition to the Discovery Center, people can learn about the Albany Pine Bush in a variety of places. They can learn about it online on our website and also through social media. We have a Facebook page. They can also attend programs that happen out on the trails, even just visiting the trails on their own uh, and visiting our kiosks. There's a lot of information about the preserve and what lives here at the kiosks and even just visiting local libraries where they have information on the pine bush and attending events. There are other ways you can get involved. You can join our friends group. It's an organization made up of volunteers. It's called the Friends of the Pine Bush Community. You can also participate in different activities that are happening. The Friends have a 20 mile challenge right now, which invites people to hike all of the trails of the preserve. Um, people can also get involved through our Pine Bush Perspectives photo exhibit, where they can submit a photo that they've taken on a travel or an adventure in the preserve and submit that to the, it's a juried photo exhibit. So there are lots of different ways and just a visit to our website can tell you some of the other ways to get involved. It's not just the preserve staff who think the Pine Barrens are special. The Albany Pine Bush Preserve is a national natural landmark 
Hudson River Valley National Heritage Area Site, a New York State Unique Area, Bird Conservation Area, and a National Audubon Society Important Bird Area. The reasons we want to protect moorland and add it to the preserve is that the preserve isn't done yet, and in order to ensure that the preserve can support the plants and animals and the wildland fire that they depend on is to make the preserve as large as possible. There are still parts of this unique landscape that are not yet part of the preserve itself. So by working with willing landowners, we're able to add land to the preserve, making it bigger. Think about it, a bigger basket can support more species and, and more and higher populations of those species. So in the long term, we want to try and maximize the size of the preserve to ensure that none of these plants and animals go extinct. So I think it's a quality of life issue, really, uh, for a lot of people. While a lot of people may, may enjoy the city environment and the more suburban environment, a lot of people also really enjoy getting out into a more natural setting. And so I think that benefits everyone, whether they just drive through the preserve area to just see the beauty around them or whether they are actually coming and visiting and hiking and doing something recreationally in the preserve. Um, of course, there are the other benefits of just cleaner air, clean water, all those sorts of things that natural, undeveloped areas do for the environment that help people and are a real benefit to each one of us who live near these areas. It's not just a park, it's, it's a preserve. It's a preserve that protects one of the most globally rare habitats in the entire Northeast and even in the country. And it's an open space reserve, preserve an, an open space resource that people can recreate in. 20 miles of trails, education programs, the Discovery Center, we got it all. The fact that it is a globally rare ecosystem and it's an amazing place to discover, to learn about what lives in the Pine Barrens ecosystem. Uh, also, it represents a great place for people to go out and to recreate. People can utilize our trails for a variety of uh, passive, non-motorized activities. So they can hike, they can mountain bike, they can even ride horses, snowshoe, um, jog, lots of different things. So it also presents a wonderful open space for the capital region. There's not a lot of pine bush remaining. This amazing preserve is in our capital region's backyard. With nearly 2,000 acres left to protect, the future of the pine bush is in our hands. You can help us save this global treasure for generations to come.